thirdly, ability. I think if we consistently try to look at the candidates and what they believe and how they live their life, and is it in line with what the Word of God teaches, then we will pick the best president that we can possibly pick as infallible people. So, you know, it's, it's, again, going back to the analogy car, sometimes you go, you do all your research, and, and, and you're still not absolutely certain, but you make the best choice that you can make. Sometimes the same is true with politics. You may not be absolutely certain, but at least try to make the best choice that you can absolutely make. And that is, I think, following the principles we learn from the Word of God. Father in heaven, as the primaries come up here next week, next Tuesday, we will be voting on a person that will represent one of the two parties, the Democratic Party or the Republican Party. And I think it is very, very clear that there are only a few candidates whose character is worthy of, of being president, at least in my limited knowledge. And certainly there are only a few whose agenda lines up with your agenda, who believes the same things that your word teaches. And so help us to become knowledgeable in these things. And then not to follow through with a pragmatic attitude, well, I think this person's going to help the economy best, and so I'm going to vote. But for a person uh, that honors you, first and foremost, that you might honor them and this country. Father, we ask for your grace and for wisdom in doing this. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. I, I hope that you can join us for Sunday school this morning. If not, have a wonderful remainder of this Lord's Day.